Whoa. Wow, I've made it to the river, which is just raging right now. It is so incredible. I doubt I'll be doing any fishing because of uh, how hard the runoff is. I might be able to find some stiller moving water and find a fish, but that's the least of my issues. Uh, so I'm going to find a place to camp. I don't know if I'm going to walk up the river or down the river. I really wanted to cross the river, but there's probably no safe place to do that for the next month. So that, uh, that plan is gone, but we're going to find a great camp. No doubt about that. Man, I am so happy to be here right now. Okay, guys, so... I think I'm gonna be standing right where I'm gonna set up camp. I'm gonna sling this tree right here and this tree right here for my hammock. And uh, the reason I picked this spot in particular is because there's a way I can cross this little creek right here and go that way. The river with fish in it, if I can find uh, some slower moving water, is about 100 yards that way. And this is all runoff. There's not going to be any fish right here at all. But it is going to provide great white noise tonight when I'm hanging around by my fire. This is going to be a great, great overnighter. So, yeah, that's definitely camp. So I'm going to go get it set up. I got my hammock all set up and I got the tarp on just before the rain started coming down again so that's good so again guys i have the war bonnet blackbird that's an enlightened equipment 30 degree under quilt and i'm probably going to regret what i brought for inside and that was my outdoor vital zero degree bag it's going to be mid 30s tonight so it's probably going to be way too much but you just never know up here in the mountains and uh you know from my experience the hammock typically runs a little bit cooler than the tent so Regardless, I'm looking forward to having a really good night's sleep in here, but that'll come later. Right now, I'm going to process some firewood and go from there. chopping block
man. This is just too good to be true, guys. I'm going to take a break. Uh, before I fish and have some coffee, I'm going to mix a regular Starbucks Sevilla into some of their flavored mocha. White chocolate mocha. A little double dose of caffeine. Then I'm going to go fishing. It's about 2 o'clock. Been up here for a few hours already. Just really having a good time. So, get some coffee going and go from there. Look at this. So a little update, uh, the thunder is starting to roll. It's still quite a ways out as you can see behind me, but it is getting a little dark. The wind pick up a little bit. And uh, I found a little piece of water right here that I'm going to fish. I still think the runoff is, uh, it's still just turning up too much mud for me to be too successful, but we're gonna try it while I'm here and we'll be back at camp relaxing for the rest of the night here soon. So we'll see. It's uh, 4.30, I'm in my hammock, extremely comfortable, oh man, this is great. I definitely hope I'm not in here for the rest of the night, but the rain, it, it, it's here. The lightning is flashing, it's a long ways away, it flashes and then 10 or 15 seconds goes by and then the thunder rolls. So I'm hoping just to kind of wait this out for an hour or two um, and I might take a nap but um, I do have something I'm pretty excited about. I'm using my hang time hook for the first time and I'm gonna watch a movie until this uh, storm passes. All right, uh, it's about 5.30 now. So I was in my hammock for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. It thundered real good. It started sprinkling again. And right as I was about ready to fall asleep, I was getting tired. Something woke me up. I might have just jerked in my sleep, but I woke up and I was like, oh wow, it's great outside. Fishing obviously is a bust due to the runoff. It's just too much. And I happened to find a little piece of paracord in my bag left over from Moab for whatever reason. And you guys are gonna laugh at me and go ahead, I have fun. So I built something. Don't expect greatness here. This project took me about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna shoot this thing. You know, if this went 10 feet, I think that would be a success. Whoa. 
Did you see that? <laughs> That's it right over there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> well, uh, I'm back in my hammock again. The weather cleared up and it was okay for about an hour, maybe a little longer, and then it got dark again and now we're dealing with thunder, lightning, and rain, which is fine. I'm having a great time. This is peaceful. I'm hoping the weather breaks again. I'd really like to have a little fire for, you know, an hour or two to cook dinner with. And um, if that doesn't happen, that's fine. I can sit underneath my tarp and just boil some water. I'm just rehydrating food. I just really enjoy relaxing around a fire, especially with that river running behind me. But anyway, we're going to sit on the storm for a little while again. And I'll probably finish watching Black Sheep. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to split this up and get the dry stuff inside of it and get a wet wood fire going. That's what I'm talking about. work with it. This cotton and Vaseline works pretty good, especially when you have wet wood. Look how beautiful this evening's turning out to be. So I'm doing the peak refuel breakfast skillet tonight. I have not tried it. I'm sure it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna get two cups of water boiling and then let it rehydrate for 10 or 15 minutes. That is definitely a boil that off. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, that smells good. Holy cow. I smell the peppers. this tastes anything near as good as that smelt when I poured that hot water in there, I'm in for a pretty good dinner. Eggs, sausage, potatoes, and peppers. I smell the peppers. Alright, I gave this at least 20 minutes, probably a little longer, so I'm going to give it my first look. meaty. I don't know if you can see that in here in the dark, but it's a lot of meat and potatoes. I like it. I hope this light's not going directly into that camera, but there's really no way to stop it. So I've made it back into my hammock again for like the fourth time today. This time is bedtime. Had an awesome time out by the fire and dinner was great. 
incredible time. I love my solo trips, and I'm going to be waking up pretty early as I've got some family plans tomorrow afternoon. So, thanks everyone for watching. Have a good night. Good morning, guys. Had a really good night. And, uh, you know, without this video to document it, most people wouldn't believe I'm up before the sun came up. I'm usually the stay up late, sleep in type, but I did go to bed pretty early. A lot of that was due to weather. And I really wanted to wake up before the sun came up. So, I'm going to watch the sunrise, have some coffee. And I've got some family obligations this afternoon, so I'm going to pack up and get out of here pretty, pretty early, pretty quickly. So... <laughs> all right, so I just got all packed up, put some water on the fire, and did one quick check around camp to make sure I wasn't leaving anything. And now I'm on my way to the truck. Uh, I can see the sun on the hill behind me, but it hasn't peeked over the hill yet. It's close though. So, had a great time. And uh, again, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you on the next one.